for today. So yesterday we ended up with an inside bar right off a level. If you look to the left, you can see where my level is. These uh, three tops here at the top of the level. And you can see we didn't quite get through that. Okay, Asian session at the moment is um, it's doing its normal thing. So we are up right now. And if you give me a second, I'll just jump onto that quickly. And um, so futures market for the US futures is pretty much up on average half a percent at the moment. That futures is up uh, almost 0.85%. Uh, okay, so oh yeah, read into that what you want is a, why the Asian session is up is uh, I have no idea. <laughs> So um, we do have non-farm payrolls today, and we've also got this, this, quite a string of data coming out as well. So this still worries me. It's not an area where I want to be long, okay? Uh, I want to see some structure. So at the moment, this is looking like a setup for a pullback, but uh, if you look at the futures market, we're probably going to gap up. So a gap up, pullback on this area may get me long, but definitely not going to be looking to hold the long. Uh, and I think the important thing here is just look at the recovery. We have an amazing recovery underway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more about that. So if we look at the three hour, you can see yesterday was a complete um, sideways day. It was buyers coming in at the bottom here and trying to drive price through this level. Um, they didn't get much support going up, so you know, it is, is a bit of consolidation when you look at it on the three hour. When you look at it on the hour, you'll see even a little bit more consolidation. Okay, so the trend is up. Guys, there's no there's no debate about that. We are trending up. We are at a major, major area of resistance, which makes me reluctant to continue to the upside. Um, so I'm looking for opportunities to go long, but I want to see them further down. And at this stage, Further down is a long way away, so it's down here somewhere. And when you get situations like this, you know, you've got to wait for the next bit of structure because clearly we're not coming back down to this area of uh, 11,800. So you need to find out what is the next level of structure. And at the moment, that is the situation there. So we'll come down to 30 minutes here. You'll see it'll be very clear here. So you can see we gap down, came up, closed the gap, and then we just hovered sideways in a range. Okay, at the moment we're up. So we are on 12,540, uh, 12,600, 12,540, pretty much top of range, I would say. Yeah, so we are top of range at the moment. Okay, so you probably find we're going to open like that, come down, close the gap, and we're going to just sort of bum around between these two levels here. So 12.540 and uh, 12.330 area. We're just going to bum around in between here until non-farm payrolls this afternoon. So the, the reason why I say we're going to bum around is the forecast for non-farm payrolls is um, 8 million jobs lost, and last month's number was 20 and a half million jobs lost. So it's a massive, massive improvement. Now the question is, is it true? So I think that's what most of the market's going to be doing, trading water, because if it is genuine, then you're going to find a, a bit of a move to the upside. And if it's uh, not that genuine, you're probably going to find a big move to the downside. But anyway, so for me today, I'm not interested in this at all. I want to see a break above here and a retest. That's only going to happen in the US market session. And then I'd rather be trading the, the US markets than the DAX at that time. So this morning, you know, if you do pull down to the bottom here, it may offer a long to the top of the range. And that's something that I may look out for. But I think being Friday and non farm payrolls day, I'm more than likely going to sit out of um, indexes and probably US dollar pairs at the moment. Um, so there are a couple of opportunities on Forex, and they are in the Forex video. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. Um, if you haven't joined Telegram yet, join it. Um, we called a couple of good uh, forex calls in there yesterday, and we're going to go over them in the forex video now as well. And if you're still here, you obviously like what like the sound of my voice, and I'd appreciate it if you could smash that like button. Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel, and every like helps. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll catch you later. Take care.